Good evening, everyone. It wasn't as dominating a season as we've seen in the past, but after all is said and done, the Saskatoon Hilltops find themselves in their sixth straight Prairie Football Conference title game today, uh, seeking their third straight championship. They'd have to contend with their provincial rivals, the Regina Thunder. We'll start in the first quarter. Brendan Griba, he was a catalyst for the toppers today. Griba, Griba, he told me Griba. Take the pitch from Matt Karpinka, busts off a 29-yard run. He's pumped. That gets things moving for the blue and gold. A few plays later, Tom Shockey will take the handoff from the one, plunges in for the score. Seven other Hilltops early. So the big story on the day was the Hilltops defense. They came up big. Asher Hastings looking for Clay Cook. Picked off by Joel Haight. He'll return at 25 yards before being brought down. Later in the quarter, uh, Hastings looking for Cook again. And again, he's picked off this time by Quinn Pierce. Another 25-yard return. And the defensive line, they came to play too. Hastings run over by Clayton Sarich in the shotgun. Uh, Regina just could not move the ball. Second quarter, 9 of the Hilltops. Karpinka will fire down the sidelines for John Trumpy. Looks to make the catch, but it's ruled that Mark Ingram makes the interception for Regina, so the Thunder would take over. Trumpy says, no, really, I caught the ball. The turnover stands. Uh, Thunder offense couldn't do anything with it, though. Hilltops get it back. Karpinka going right back to Trumpy. This time he'll haul it in at the one-yard line, a 31-yard game. Then only four seconds left on the clock. The toppers hand it off to Andre Lalonde. Regina's defense stops him. The clock runs out, but Saskatoon head coach Tom Sargent had called a timeout with one second left on the clock. So they get another shot at it from the one. And the second time around, you better believe that Andre Lalonde is going to put it in the end zone. He does the last play of the half. That made it 16-0. Third quarter, the Hilltops offense comes alive, led by Lalonde. The big back in a rumble, 37 yards here. It takes four defenders to bring him down. He's a tank. Uh, down at the Thunder four-yard line. From there, Karpinko will go to the air for Graham Unroth. 23-0 Saskatoon. End of the third. The run game working real well for the Hilltops. It would be Gri Gri Griba. Sorry, Brandon. Griba. He told me Griba. From the 37. Nobody catches him. 91 yards of the day for him. This touchdown made it 30-0. Saskatoon would add another score. 37-0. They can celebrate as the clock runs out. Now the Hilltops, they win their third straight Prairie Football Conference title, 37-0 the final score, a dominating performance. We got together and you know, we talked about what these playoff games mean to us and it's really evident that they mean a lot. You know, our fifth years, our leadership group, they're the ones that really stepped up and played their best games the last two weeks and none of us want to go out with the loss. We want to go out with a 3 P championship. Well, it's definitely just a mix of uh, Andre Lalonde and myself, you know, two different running styles, both equally effective, but when we mix them up, you know, the defense can't really get a handle on one of them. It's unbelievable, you know, to come out here and especially to shut them out, it's unbelievable. We just had to stick together and quit shooting ourselves in the foot. It was us stopping us. They left some of our big plays open. We just weren't keying on them. And we made uh, enough plays to get the job done today, and we left quite a few out on that field. Defensively, you know, it was a great game. Uh, you know, we figured Regina was going to be tough, and, I mean, you know, we played well defensively and somehow managed to hold them to zero. I mean, yeah, you can't expect any more, I guess, from the defense, and the offense was able to move the ball off, so that really helped us out, too. These are your toughest games of the year when you get in a, you know, championship or, or PFC finals, and our, we can't play our best game of the year. The intensity, the passion, the energy was just exactly where you'd want it as a coach. It wasn't too high, it wasn't too low, just right.